Hi Lana, how are you? I hope you're well. So today we are going to look at how to write a memorandum. How to write a memorandum. In short, we call it a memo. In short, we call it a memo. So the first things first, we are going to look at what entails a memo. What entails a memo. So uh, in a memo, there are things when you're marking it, you have to ensure that you've written. One, the date, make sure you've written the date. Two, the reference number, the reference number. Three, two, the word two, okay, who are receiving. Four, who has written, so it will be from Okay, then we have the heading of the subject. The heading of the subject. We have the heading, we have the heading or the subject. We have the heading or the subject. Okay, then we have the signing. I mean, before the signing off, we have the body. Body. Okay. Then, lastly, the signing of, the signing of. So when you're writing your memo, make sure that one, it has a date. Two, reference number. Then from who, I mean who are receiving, so two. Then from who has written. Then the heading of the subject, the body. Then lastly, the signing of. So dear Lana, can we pause a little bit and get a pen and paper, we'll be ready and do this practically. So I hope you're ready. So let's start and let's do this practically. So the first thing you're going to write is at the middle of, the, of your memorandum, write the word memo. Memo, then make sure you underline. Write the word memo, make sure you underlined it. Then uh, you'll write your reference number. Reference number is how many memos have you written before in that year? So let's say it's the 132 memo, the 32nd memo in the year 2022. So just an example of this is the first memo, the second, whatever. So you're going to give it a reference number. So you'll write the word ref. Just in short, okay, ref number, like that, then a full colon, write the ref number. So, for example, I'll say it's 132 of the year 22, okay. Then you will write two who are receiving, two who are receiving. So, I'll say, for example, I'm the principal. So, all teachers are in a one will be receiving this memo. So I'll say all teachers, all teachers, all teachers. Then the next one is from, from. Who has written it? Okay, the principal, the principal, the head teacher. The principal, okay? The principal. Then uh, you can choose to continue with this format or you can write the date on your farthest right. Farthest right, you can write the date somewhere there. So you can write um, today's 15th. It has to be written in full, July, comma, then the year, 2022. So you can write so that your work can be well spaced. You don't have to write everything on the same column. Okay? Then after you're done with that, you write the subject. Write the subject. Okay? Then after that, you've written the date on the on your farthest. Right. So the next thing to do is write the subject. Write the subject. So the subject will be, let's assume you're the, the principal, you're addressing all teachers. What do you want to discuss? What they, okay? So you can tell them, uh, 
marking date. And all teachers should submit the marks by this certain time. So you write it in short, you can write re, just the way you usually write a letter, re, uh, submission of marks. Submission of grades of marks. Okay, so make sure you've done what? Underlined it. Make sure you've underlined it. Make sure you have underlined it. So let's pause a little bit just to internalize this. So you've already written, don't forget you've already written the subject. You've already written the subject and the title of the subject and make sure to underline. Make sure you've underlined it. Then the next thing you're going to write is the paragraph. A memo should not have more it should have between one to two paragraphs because it should be very short and precise short and precise so a maximum of two paragraphs maximum of two paragraphs okay so well, even one paragraph is enough so a maximum of two you go to the body you can either choose the block format when you okay assume this is the margin again assume this is the margin you can either use the block format to start from here okay i wish or i wish to inform you or you or dear teachers you're all requested to submit your marks by this particular date and time you can either choose that and skip a line as you transition to the next paragraph just the usually do when you're writing your letters okay then after that after you've written the paragraph, you've communicated what you want to communicate, you sign off, and the signing off should be on the left side, okay? On the left side, so you'll say, uh, yours sincerely, yours sincerely, yours sincerely, okay? Yours sincerely, then uh, your signature, then your title. So you being the principal, we write there, principal, princi, principal, and then underline it. Okay? So basically that's how you write a memo. One thing you shouldn't forget is make sure you've written your memo inside a border. Make sure you've written your memo inside a border. Once you've already written it, make sure you enclose it inside a border. Make sure it's inside a border, just like that. It should be enclosed. It should be inside. Nothing should be hanging out. Okay? So this short, 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 short uh, functional pieces of writing, uh, for example, memo, thanksgiving note, condolences note, those kind of uh, short, short functional writing, usually we ensure that we have enclosed them in a border because they're very, very short, very short. So make sure you've enclosed it inside a border. So dear Lana, this is a challenge to you. So the quiz for today is, um, assume you're the secretary for a club in your school. Choose any club that you want, okay? And you've seen that most of your official members do not participate during your meetings. So ensure that you call them for a meeting and it should be at 3 o'clock. Make sure that you've written them a memo and yeah, just challenge yourself. Pause the video whenever you need to, and always prefer. Okay? I was your teacher, Miss Mary.